So the Japa tip for today is? I am out of my mind and in my heart. I'm fully present and attentive to the holy names when I chant. This is the affirmation that we should meditate on, which means, of course, when we say I'm out of my mind, it means that I'm crazy. But it, it also means that I'm out of my mind and into my heart. When we are chanting, we are trying to focusing, we are trying to control our mind. But here it says, this affirmation says, I'm not in my mind at all. No. I'm actually in the heart where the soul resides. It's difficult to control the mind when I chant, but one time one devotee told Srila Prabhupada, Prabhupada, when I chant, it's so difficult to control my mind. So Prabhupada said, mind? You chant with your tongue? You hear with your ear? Where is the question of the mind? <laughs> and uh, this means that Prabhupada is saying, don't chant to control the mind. Chant with your heart. Forget the mind. Chant, hear, and chant and hear from the heart, not the mind. Which means chant and hear with feeling, not just some thoughts, just with, with sincere feeling. Because feeling is the essence of these, of the prayers. Feeling is what brings us into the present. Feeling is what can absorb us in complete chanting. So, you know, we all can experience that anytime we're probably hearing a thought or when we're watching a movie, perhaps. You know, if the movie or the class is very good, we become so absorbed because, you know, we, we feel something. We start to feel something. We start to experience those things. And that's how we are getting absorbed in watching that movie, experiencing it directly. So the mind is actually not even required while we are chanting. So the Prabhupada made it very clear, where is the question of the mind? So when we are actually chanting, the only thing that is required is our feeling. Because we are, we are, when we are praying, it is only the feeling that we get. So then we may ask then, what about thoughts? What is the difference between feeling and thoughts? For example, if we meet someone who we sensed is not trustworthy, for example, that came as a feeling, huh? I, I, I'm not able to trust this person. It's not a thought, it's a feeling that came. Or if we feel happy seeing someone, it comes as a feeling, it doesn't come as a thought. So similarly, when we chant and pray, we, we chant and pray with feeling of humility, feeling of being grateful, not deserving this opportunity, but still making the best use of this opportunity. Not, it's not a thinking process. When we are chanting, it's not a thinking process. I think what should, we, what should we think while we are chanting? We are not supposed to think anything. We are supposed to feel the gratitude, feel uh, love for the Lord. It's feel happy. And it's when we feel, when we pray while feeling, then the absorption will come. Imagine when you are seeing a movie, what different feelings come into your mind that we are so absorbed for three hours in a movie or one and a half hours in a movie theater. You're just, just glued to seats. We don't even know where we are. Why? It's not because we are thinking. It's because we are feeling. And in the same way, we should chant with feeling. 